Hello, Paul. Here from Medium the Automotive. Today I've got a Audi R8 B10. Just want to show you today. I've just uh, took the front off, as you can see. That looks like a bathtub. <laughs> this thing here. Don't know why Audi done it like that, but they should have put a little little cover here, cut out, so you can check the battery because the battery location is right there, but you can't get to it. So the only way to actually do it is remove your wiper rubbers, the cowls, uh, trims on the sides and the trim at the front and that big massive uh, storage compartment there to actually access, so you can gain access to testing the battery. So this one here is an AGM battery on an Audi uh, R8, 300 amp thin DIN, 380 amp and you're looking at a uh, 68 mp hour as well, AGM battery, right, on this one, Vata. Okay, so just want to show you where it is. So the only way to test it is to take all this off to test the battery properly rather than guessing. There's no point in guessing. This car is very um, the expensive cars and when we're servicing all these European cars, you most important thing to do is actually no matter how hard it's to get into, you gotta check the, check the battery properly because otherwise you give the car tomorrow to the customer and two days later the car's dead or can't start in the shopping center. It's really hard to actually tow the car again. So. Always check the battery, it's very important when you do a check on a car and then do your final check on the other stuff. So now I'm going to check the actual brake fluid. Alright, now I've got my uh, brake fluid tester, so I want to turn it back on first and then I'm just going to dip it in here. And it's saying uh, okay, less than 1%, so that's good, good news. So make sure you take the fuel tie out before you do that because you can't reach it properly. So yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing today to test it. So now I want to put everything back together. It's passed. The battery says battery it's fine. Then a, a battery crank test. I'll show a voltage uh, drop crank test. And, and the voltage of the battery was 10.1 volts. That's really good, really high as well. So under, no, it's over 10 volts, so it's pretty good. So now I'm going to put everything back together and then uh, have a look at the other stuff. All right. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.